Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at three different ways that you can transpose your data in Excel. So what does it mean to transpose your data? So we're going to take this data here, and we're gonna turn the columns into rows, and we're gonna turn the rows into columns. So essentially, we're going to flip this about its diagonal axis. So let's take a look at the first method. So we can copy and paste and transpose our data. So first we just need to select our data and copy it so we can use control C to copy or up in the home tab, we do have a copy command here. And once we have it copied into the clipboard, we can select the location where we want to place our transposed data. And then again, back in the home tab, under the paste options, we have this transpose option. Now, before I select it, you can see that I get a preview of what that's going to look like. And in fact, all those have previews available. And so we can see exactly what it looks like before we use it. And then all we have to do is just click on it to uh, add that data into our sheet. And now you can see exactly what transposed data looks like. So you can see here that this column here, uh, 2020 quarter three has become this row right here. So 2020 quarter three is now a row of data instead of a column and vice versa. So let's take a look at this row of data west and you can see that it's now become this column of data here. Now we can also use the paste special shortcut for this. So control alt and V is gonna open up our paste special menu. And then in here we have various options but one of them is that we can transpose our data. So we just need to select that and press okay and we'll get the same effect as from our home tab paste options. The next method we're gonna take a look at to transpose our data is Excel actually has a formula for this. So if you're using Microsoft 365, you have access to dynamic arrays and you can use the transpose function to spill your transposed data. So let's take a look at that transpose and that just takes one argument which is an array of data so we can select our set of data here and when we press enter we get a new range of transposed data here now if you're not on microsoft 365 you can still use this but you're not going to be able to spill it like this by entering a single formula and have the results spilled across the grid what you're going to have to do is use a control shift enter formula to create an array formula. So let's take a look at that. So what you're going to need to do is pre-select the range where your results are going to live. And so we need to figure out how many columns we have. So we have six columns and five rows. So what we need to do is select six rows and then select five columns and then enter our transpose function. And then instead of pressing enter like normal, what we would have to do is hold control shift and press enter. And that's going to create an array formula. And you can see that up here in the formula bar, we have these curly braces indicating that it's an array formula. Now, the thing with this is that it's not very flexible. So changing the range that this uh, outputs is going to be a bit more difficult. In fact, you're going to have to just delete the entire thing and re-enter the formula if you need to update this range. So definitely much easier if you have the Microsoft 365 dynamic arrays that just do the work for you and spill the results into the workbook. The next method we're going to take a look at is using Power Query to transform our data. So Power Query has lots of different transformations that you can do. And of course, one of them is that you can transpose your data. So first, to get it into the Power Query editor, what we're gonna do is take our data and turn it into an Excel table. So we're gonna select it and go up to the Insert tab and hit the Table command. And then our table does, in fact, have headers. So the first row here is Column Headers. We'll keep that checked and press OK. And now we have our data inside a table object. We are also going to go up to the table design tab and just give this table a new name. So instead of table one, let's just call this something like data. 
And now with our table, we're gonna to go to the data tab and we're going to get data from a table or range. So we're gonna query our table and then transpose it and then put that back into Excel. So here's our data in the Power Query Editor. And the first thing we're going to do is part of the data that we wanna transpose is actually in the column headers here. So we're going to go to the Transform tab and under this command here, we have the option to use headers as our first row. So that's gonna demote our column header names into a row of data here. Now, once we have that done, we can go back up to the transform tab and there is a transpose command. We're gonna use that. So that transposes our data. And now we wanna get this first row here back as column headers instead of these column one, two, three generic column names. So again, let's go to our first row as headers and use the first row as headers command here. So now we have our data transposed here. We can load this back into Excel. So let's go to the home tab here and close and load this. So let's pick close and load too. And we're gonna load this back into a table inside Excel and we're gonna just load it in the existing workbook or worksheet. Now the nice thing about this option is if you add to your data here, you can refresh your Power Query and then this output is going to update as well. So let's just try that out. Let's add 2021 and Q2. And let's just copy these numbers over for our example. Now we can go up to the Data tab and go to Refresh and then you're gonna see that we now have a new row of data in our transposed data. So that's three pretty easy ways that you can transpose your data in Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video, we'll see you in the next one.